Okay, don't panic. You might be thinking, where have so many of my effects gone in Premiere Pro? Well, for some reason, Adobe decided to get rid of obsolete effects in the new update, leaving so many cool effects just gone. This includes replicating the halation effect in Premiere Pro. So we've listened to you in the comments and found all of the obsolete effects for you so you can import these back into Premiere Pro, including channel blur, the effect that you need to recreate the halation effect, as well as having all of the effects back for other styles of editing. So just simply go to the description of this video and click the Google Drive link for the effect preset pack and then download this. Now go to your effect window, right click and click import presets and import the pack that you've just downloaded and that's literally it so it's as simple as that you now have all of the effects from the previous premiere pros and now you can recreate the halation effect and many many more now if you haven't seen the original video here's a quick guide on how to create the halation and bloom effect now you have the channel blur effect back to create a halation effect follow these steps Number one, first create an adjustment layer and place it above your clip in the timeline. Two, in the effects panel, search for channel blur and apply it to the adjustment layer. Number three, since we're aiming for a film style halation, focus on the red channel. Set the red blur to 50. Four, change the adjustment layer's blend mode to lighten for a smoother integration with the highlights. Five, you should immediately notice the halation effect, enhancing the glow around bright areas. Now, if you want more of a subtle look, simply adjust the opacity of the adjustment layer. Play around with the settings until you find the balance that works for your project. Next, we'll add the bloom effect to give the highlights a soft glowing touch. Here's how you do it. Duplicate your clip by holding the Option key or Alt for Windows and dragging the clip below the adjustment layer on the timeline. The Effects panel, search for the Luma key effect and apply it to the top duplicated clip. Disable the visibility of the bottom clip by clicking the eye icon. In the Effects Controls panel, tweak the cutoff and threshold settings of the Luma key to isolate the highlights. The exact values will of course vary, but for this example, using 80 for both should work pretty well. Now apply the Gaussian Blur effect to the top clip. Set the blur amount to a level that produces a nice soft glow. I think 12 is a good starting point. To fine tune the intensity, adjust the opacity of the top clip. Lowering it to around 70 to 80% should provide a balanced bloom effect. Re-enable the bottom clip to see how the bloom complements your footage. You can toggle the clip on and off to compare the effect. The result should give your video a dreamy soft glow around the highlights. Experiment with both effects to get the perfect halation and bloom look for your footage. Just a quick video for you guys. Hope you like this video and please subscribe and like for more tips and tricks just like this.